<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you on a 1.76 PS4 using the WebKit exploit how you can enable debug settings on here. Now, there's not too much you can do, but you can kind of play around with the settings, at least at your own discretion, and I will show you at least one nice thing you can do on here. So first off, I'm going to put a link down below or around here uh, to a video that I showed on how to set up the WebKit exploit and how to send over payloads. And uh, the nice thing is we won't need a payload for this specific one because I'm going to show you this. So first off, of course, you're going to need a 1.76 PS4 and you're going to need the internet browser. Now, of course, you're going to need the internet browser right here. And if you've seen my video, you should see how to permanently activate it. Now, you just need to go into the internet browser and we're going to need to go over to PS4 Playground. Now, I did show you all a PS4 Playground uh, that CTURT had set up, but this one's going to be a little bit easier to use. So what you need to do is you need to search and we are going to look up whenever this comes up right here. Um, we're going to look up F dash X dot FR and you can do space P S four. I'm already on the page, but I'm just showing you all how to get to it. And if you go to F dash X dot FR slash PS four, you can find it right there. Hit this and this is a slightly different playground. So what you need to do is you just need to go to launch FTP. And once that is done, it's going to say stage waiting for payload. You can ignore that for now. That's fine. Uh, but then you can go to uh, the press the PS button or the home button, go over to settings and scroll all the way down and you're now going to have debug settings. Now this is a temporary patch. It doesn't fully put it on here or, you know, completely unlock it. So therefore, every time you want to access debug settings, you will have to run that payload. Uh, but what you can do is you can go into the debug settings and you can change several things on here. So for example, you know, you can check this out if you want to. License activation is the nice one. I'd actually recommend going here and I've already done this. Both of these are off by default, but I recommend turning both of them on. So therefore, or you can actually watch Blu-ray movies on here without having to activate the PS4 on PSN and such. So that's pretty nice. But there's several of these. Like, for example, if you go to Network, you're going to get this air. Nothing's going to be available there. Um, PSN, you know, you can kind of play around with the environment and such. And again, edit these at your own discretion. But this is just a nice little option that you can get to. And also, you can, you know, access the package installer on here. So if you have a package file or a PKG file at, at that, uh, you can install it, which I will probably show at a later date how to do but the point is this is a really convenient nice way to activate debug settings on here anyways this is mr mario signing off thank you all for watching everyone if you enjoyed this video a like would very much be appreciated and if you absolutely hate it and you don't want debug settings a dislike is fine as well too I'm